Well, welcome to this product demonstration video for the uh, barrel saliva drug test 8127 available in various combinations and this video demo is basically appropriately for all the different combinations that you may have. The one we're going to show you is a combination that includes the alcohol pad saliva test as well. Outer packaging, standard uh, combinations written on the front, CE marking all along the base with the expiry and uh, batch numbers. Inside one of these foils you'll uh, find one of these saliva barrels. Inside it is the saliva collection swab on a stick. Um, let's take that out and just show you how this works. When it comes the saliva collector is absolutely rigid and there is no way that this can be combined because of the rigidity of that swab. So to run this test, very simple, you take the saliva swab and saturate it in saliva in the oral cavity of the donor, asking them to feed saliva onto the swab until it's soft. That takes about 90 seconds and then when it's soft, you uh, move the swab all around the oral cavity. So in front of the teeth, top and bottom, both sides, behind the teeth, top and bottom, both sides, top of the tongue, underside of the tongue, and then ask them again to feed saliva onto the swab for at least a 30 seconds until it is extremely soft and saturated with saliva. The entire saliva collection process takes around three to five minutes. And we're going to do that now for you and demonstrate the uh, test being uh, put together, starting to run, and then we'll show you the interpretation of the uh, results at the end. Important note, before you start collecting saliva in your donor, they must not have had anything to eat or drink or smoked for at least a minimum of 10 minutes, ideally 20 minutes. Now this saliva swab has been completely saturated with saliva, oral fluid, it's soft, it's mobile, it's flexible now. To start running the test, feed the swab into the base of the chamber and screw the lid down in a clockwise fashion and that will discharge saliva into the base of this saliva test. At this time, start your timer and you're starting a timer on uh, your watch or mobile device for 10 minutes. And what we're going to do then is show you the interpretation of the results and how to read this drug test at that read time. Well, we're now at the uh, time read for this test and you'll notice the design of this has this central portion that says remove this label to view the results. We're going to peel that back now and what it reveals is this central section of the barrel with all the drug abbreviation codes at the top of each strip. And the first one we're going to show you on this one, if you've got a combination that includes alcohol, then this is a pad. And this is where you will have been supplied one of these multi-function evaluation cards. You're looking for the alcohol-specific colour pads, and you are looking for a colour match against that pad to give you the corresponding alcohol level. So in this case, it's completely negative, and it's just a creamy off-white colour, as you would expect. The stronger the alcohol, the darker the colour change on this pad. All the other results for the drug groups included in your barrel test will be a combination of a control line and a test line for the interpretation of the results. And very helpfully, we put these um, guides on the base of each of these test devices. You're looking for two lines for a negative result and only a control line for a non-negative or positive result. And if I rotate this test round for you to see, you can see that we've got control and test lines on all of the drugs that have been tested in this barrel test. The combination will vary. The abbreviations at the top of each uh, strip are what is interpreting which you are reading the result of. And the thickness, colour density and saturation of the test lines it's very important that you don't interpret anything from that. If it's a positive result, there should be no test line showing at the 10 minute read time. And a control line should always be informed. If there's no control line and no test line, that's an invalid result as per that guide on the base. Very simple and easy to do. The key elements for this test to get good accurate results are one, to do a really good swab 
all around the oral cavity to pick up any drug residues that may still be lingering in the uh, oral cavity. Two, to make sure that you've got an adequate saliva sample on that swab at the time that you squeeze this test uh, and put the, the sponge collector into the barrel. And then to ensure that the barrel is vertical on a flat surface for the full 10 minutes development time. If there is inadequate saliva being collected to run all the tests included in the combination, then you may have some membranes running and some membranes invalid. That is almost an invariable indicator that you have not followed the procedure properly and collected adequate sample. If there are any further questions, either pop them in comments or if you follow the links through to our website, we have a telephone customer support service through that and live chat during office hours here in the UK that you can ask us questions regarding this specific product supplied by us. We can't offer generic drug testing queries or support on other products that haven't been supplied by UK Drug Testing. Thanks for watching.